Today I want to talk to you about a simple test that you or your uh, printer technicians or operators can perform real quick to determine whether or not you are going to need to replace your print head or not. Essentially it's going to just gauge the health of your print head. A lot of people will just react when printing goes south. You go out there and think it's a print head and that's going to solve all your problems. Uh, it's not always the case. It can you know, honestly be an unnecessary uh, expense. So really this test is going to boil it all down, tell you whether it is or isn't the print head. Uh, and again, we call it the pause test. Real easy, anybody can do it. First thing you're gonna do, <coughs> excuse me, is reach around. Uh, here we've got the Zebra ZM400. It's the same for all the printers, all the Zebra printers out there. So you're gonna take the printer, which is in ready mode right now, reach around, I'm gonna turn it off. Then I'm gonna push the pause button here. And while holding that, I'm going to turn the printer back on and hold it for about five seconds. Instead of going into just print ready mode, this printer is going to go into a uh, self-fulfilling mode where it's going to go through this test automatically for you. And what it's going to do is it's going to, it's going to fire every pixel on that print head all at the same time. So it'll be one large black flying across it. Push pause to stop this, otherwise it'll keep going. But really what you can see here is it's firing every pixel all the way across the print, print head and then we're able to look at this, the result, and see that every single pixel filed, fired perfectly. We've got a great print head here, printing's clear, there's no vertical lines which would indicate to us that there's a dead spot. Here's an example of a, of a print head or a pause test result where you do see the dead spots on that print head. At that point in time, the print head, you could still print with it, but if any of these dead spots are running through uh, critical code or critical text on your label, uh, then obviously that's not acceptable and you're going to have to